Yeah, hello, Glenn and Lou. Winds seem to be picking up a bit here in La Cañada, Flint Ridge. That is certainly not a good thing for the firefight. We are standing along Angeles Crest Highway in the southwestern portion of the Bobcat Fire. Crews are focusing on this area as well as the northeastern section today. They're conducting what's called strategic firing operations north of Mount Wilson to burn off more of that dry brush and deplete the fuel supply for this blaze. All right, take a look at this now. This just came out a short time ago from LA County Supervisor Catherine Barger. She tweets, quote, I'm sad to share that 90% of Devil's Punch Bowl has burned from the Bobcat Fire. The Nature Center and significant plant life and fauna across its 1,350 acres have been lost. My office is working with LA County Parks to see how we can rebuild and restore this beloved land. All praise the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Honor and respect to the chosen and the grafted. Welcome, brothers and sisters. <sighs> The ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham is on full sweep. Fiery conflagration of the city. So the fire is still going on, ladies and gentlemen. It's been months. It's been more than 90 days. The fire has been expanded. And notice what she says here. Uh my office is at work my office is working with LA County Parks to see how we can rebuild and restore this beloved land rebuild and restore before we uh, go to those two words remember the uh, the supervisor we will, will assume she's an Edomite because her name is Katrin Badger and you know what let's pull her let's pull her off so we can somewhat have a, a image of what we are looking at Catherine Badger. Yes, Valley County. Let's see what we have here. Yeah. Okay, so that's a picture of her. So this is the woman that says she's going to rebuild this beloved land you're going to rebuild here let's see what our brother malachi say but first why is this is happening why there's fire all over and people the stuff are being burned and they're in sorrow they're unhappy why it happened because of this genesis 15 13 and he said unto abram nor of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger and a land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them for hundred years this passage is a prophecy that Yahweh God Ahaya Yahweh himself told Abraham okay we the children of Israel the 12 tribes we fulfill this 400 years of slavery okay now next verse verse 14 and also that nation whom they shall serve will i judge and afterward shall they come out with great substance so this is the judgment of the nation that we serve under those people that we serve under them those are the people that we serve under for 400 years and this is the judgment the most is burning everything that they own okay if you notice in the fires uh let's see if we can pull up uh, uh fire destruction okay you know what let's finish with this woman first and if you notice in the fires the fire is always burning the the structures first sometimes the trees around them are not burning because it's the mosai doing them it's not the ew it's not they have a laser up there that can shoot things and then they're destroying their own property they could have easily go in the hood and burn down the hood yet they choose to destroy their own property 
okay this is not them doing this this is the Mosai's work according to the 10 plagues of the apocalypse to Abraham number two fiery conflagration of the city conflagration means for those uh, who just uh, got here because we do this in every video conflagration an extensive fire which destroys a great deal of land and property so this is an extensive fire right here okay when you look at the map people look look at this the whole place is is on fire look okay this is an extensive fire that's the that's the judgment that the lord is passing upon the people of this land now she said she's going to rebuild and restore this beloved land now let's go to prophet um malachi oh we we have to precept uh genesis 15 13 to Acts 7 6 and god spake unto these wise and that he said so sojourn in a strange land and they should bring them into bondage and then treat them evil for 400 years that's perpetrated to us that pertaining to us that is talking about us and then Acts 7 7 and the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge so father Yahweh God whatever you want to call it he is the one doing this he's the one that making this judgment right here okay he's the one doing all that so when you look at the destruction this is the 10 plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham he is doing this so now these women see if we can pull her up again Catherine Badger she said she's going to rebuild and the tweet right here she said see how we're going to rebuild and restore this beloved land now let's see what the prophet Malachi say about you and either my women rebuild so Malachi 1 and 4 where areas where areas Edom saith we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate place thus said the Lord of hosts they shall build but I will throw down whatever that you build the Lord will throw it down and he has been doing this for quite some time now okay and they shall call them the bother of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever indignation forever hatred anger forever all right so now let's do a little quick assignment well assessment so to speak okay let's look at uh, talent that's in Oregon talent city uh, talent Oregon fire damage or destruction okay we'll see which video I don't want to play um, the video that have uh, uh, the Oregonian you know what oh, boy I don't want this to have sound but let's mute it right quick okay this doesn't have any sound brothers and sisters let's look at this bear lakes estate look look at this brothers all the houses in bear lakes look at this they all burn down people this is not something that me myself and i believe a lot of people also are gloating over or happy to see but this has to be done look at the street clean look at the streets clean listen they haven't done any um any cleaning look at the trucks they haven't uh, get um the excavator and the uh, front loaders or or the back or anything like any equipment that they are going to clean up the, the, the house is burned to the ground 
Brothers and sisters, this is the 10 plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham right there. And it's still going on. The media, they don't re uh, report it like the way they they supposed to. Look at all this destruction. Now, people are saying like, okay, they are destroying these houses because they have a, a high-speed train they're going to pass and they need the land. You got to be freaking kidding me. Do you know how big Oregon and California is? Well, are. Uh, do you know how big they are? California is like the, the, the third biggest state. I think the first, the, the biggest one is Alaska. And the second is um Texas. And the third is California. But dude, California is... <sighs> people... Okay, all right. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's look at the damage uh, Bear Lake Estates. So let's see let's see how much uh let's see how much um the bear lake estates if we can't even find it the bear lake estates um oregon ah, we will need an address this yeah this this one um oh Oh, okay. All right. Oh boy, is it the true? Let's let's see where where that is. That looks like it. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is Bellic. That's the thing that we were looking for. Okay. Uh, Bellic Estates. That's the place that we were looking for, people. Oh boy, this thing want enlarge let's see if we can see that that's the satellite that's true satellite which is the same yeah automatic satellite which is the same all right let's look at uh, <coughs> this little area right here those are the price of the house three hundred and fifty eight thousand sixty seven thousand this one has nine units two bedroom and they didn't put the price 158,000, 71,000, 86,000, 88,000, 86,000, 107,000. But most of those are mobile home, okay? Those are mobile home. So this one is 662,000, 84,000. All right. So all those people, they just um, lost everything that they own okay this land is eight hundred and two thousand so right here you got at least a million dollar of loss and this property right here more than that the whole um i think uh, what's the name again bear lakes estates it's burnt down yeah bear creek i think that's the place bear lake okay and they got property oops okay i think if you zoom out a certain uh, stuff okay so those are 125,000 so all of these homes they are burnt down people a 280,000 dollar home this is a great loss right here now why am i saying this because and uh, ten plague of the then then ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham, number one sorrow for much needs. So, the, again, the word sorrow. The word sorrow means a feeling of deep distress caused by loss, disappointment, or other misfortunes suffered by oneself or others sadness unhappiness dejection regret depression misery loss this is a great loss right there people the, the entire place the entire community is burned to the ground all uh, right it's burned to the ground and people the fire it's still going even though they um 
they turned it off i mean they they put it out but underground the fire is still burning i believe there's a video of a dude who was showing the fire was still burning uh let me look at uh let me look at it right let me search for it right quick and then i'll be back instantly all right i got it This problem has a lot to do with trees, or more specifically, their roots. Some of them are still on fire, and folks heading up there to check on their homes or fire damage might not even realize it. So we're up here on Hill Street, and we're just doing spot checks for smoldering and for any trees that need to come down. Don Tezdal took now this video over the weekend in Detroit. The a volunteer firefighter with the Idana Detroit Fire District, Tezdal was back up there doing fire mop-up when he came across a serious problem many might miss. You do not want to fall in that. This is everywhere. We're going to put this out, but these things are all over the hillside. From above the mound, it might look just like a little smoke, but below it is an active fire just waiting for the chance to get out. You've got a 1200 degree fire going on right next to somebody's house and this can just spread so we're going to put this out well if you didn't know any better you could probably find yourself with two legs knee deep in a, in one of those holes and it doesn't take long at 1200 degrees to burn the shoes right off your feet tesdell posted the video to inform the community of what is going on in detroit oh my gosh this is my house one of his first posts was last week, showing what the fire did to his own home. Okay, so um, this dude, he lost his house and the fire is still burning on the ground. So the templates of the apocalypse of Abraham is no joke, people. This is real. This is how the, the Mosai is judging those people. And folks, it's not only in, um, in our holy land. Uh, wildfire in Russia. Let's see, wildfire in Russia. Uh, 2020. I think Vice Vice did something. Yeah, Vice News four weeks ago. Really? Is that four? Yes. That's man. Those Vice guys. They might um. They might. They might um. Strike me, but let's see if I can put. Something. <laughs> Okay, I'll just like mute it. So in Russia and Siberia, let's look at uh, where Siberia is. It's pretty big. Siber Sib Siberia is very, very big. Siberia, Russia. Okay. This is the whole mass land of Siberia. It's quite big. Alright. This is uh, it's very cold over there. I would assume that's Jaffa land. So this is Russia, this is Siberia, this is all green and trees and and tundra. Okay, this place is burning. The satellite can't really um yeah, once you pass certain because those areas are not active so that's why the satellite has issue clarifying the the um the image but uh let's look look at a tundra i was reading a story a tundra yeah. i was reading a story some dude don't don't give me a toyota tundra damn it tundra climates there we go yeah i mean it's all green but it's a very cold land it's not really um uh it's not it's not livable see right here uh little northern canada um which is all our land uh right here in um northern russia they are like tundra places where it's really very very cold and you know you can't really plant anything in and, and get uh, a decent amount of crops over there because it's extremely cold 
Okay, this is a very cold place. It snowed and those animal like those antelope like uh, type of uh, deer they are quite rare over there and then don't think like you're gonna go over there and you're going to leave off the land because the land is barren okay barren let's see what that mean in the bible barren mean like a woman that can't uh, bear children okay this is how the land is the land is barren uh, the definition of barren barren of land too poor to produce much of any vegetation okay unproductive infertile for women and men unfruitful sterile a reed desert i prefer the word i read i think i learned this in french of a land or climate having little no rain too dry or barren to support vegetation so this land you know it's a arid land they always show you desert but uh the tundra you know it's a very arid and land that can't produce a very um barren land that can produce uh food and things like that and it's burning it's all over people you did saw the um the wildfire in australia and remember the f the 10 plagues of ap apocalypse of abraham the whole 10 plagues is on full swing you know a full swing swing whatever you want to call it well it's a swig a swig let's see uh let's define swig swig when you take a swig define swig drink and a large gulp a large draft draft of drink you know taking a swig out of the cup remember and isaiah 51 isaiah oh boy this uh i think isaiah it's a uh, before i mean it we go isaiah 51 verse 22 because the the cup has been passing on to them and lamentation okay isaiah 51 uh 22 thus saith thy lord the lord and thy god and that pleadeth the causes of his people behold i have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling even the dregs of it okay i got uh, distracted a little now let's read this again isaiah 51 22 thus say of the lord the lord and thy god that pleadeth the cause of his people so father is pleading of our cause look behold i have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling okay the 400 years of slavery the 400 years of trembling he took it out of our hand because the cup remember in psalm 75 8 the lord have his hand in his hand a cup full of mixture even the dregs of the cup of my fury thou shalt no more drink it again so now who did the lord uh, give it to and on in the second stake the book of alma forty twenty six. but behold an awful death cometh upon the wicked for they die as to things pertaining to to things of righteousness for they are unclean and no unclean things can inherit the kingdom of God. But they are cast out and consigned to partake in the fruits of their labor and their works, which have been evil. And they drink the dregs of a bitter cup. So they drink that dreg. And also in Nephi, and 2, and 2 Nephi, 8, 17, and 22, when the Lord say, Awake, awake, stand up, Jerusalem, which has drunk of the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury, that has drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling, wrung out. The cup of trembling, the Lord took it off, took it from us. Who's who uh, the Lord uh, been giving that cup? Let's check Lamentation. Lamentation 22. No, Lamentation. Lamentation 4 
21 or 22 we'll begin at 21 and then uh, we'll go for 22 rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom thou dwellest in the land of Uz the cup also shall pass through unto thee thou shalt be drunken and make thyself naked that's why in the comment section of any of those people i don't argue with them because oh. they, they are drunk one of his first posts okay. was last week showing they are drunken let's let's take a quick this is so scary especially for those who are returning to check our own property and don't know how about this let me put the volume up thank you making this video this needs to be viewed by everyone on people who won't get injured or die as a result of this hidden fire Centralia PA comes to mind crazy stuff gotta flood the whole area with inches of water to be sure it's all out imagine walking home to check your property and your food goes into one of those hot packet yay 1200 degree well you burn you okay um we're looking for a comment that uh, uh let's let's look for a comment for the you, you see this fire it started in the city it's everywhere okay it's everywhere uh they will blame somebody else on it okay do you think it's odd how building codes and safety has made everything way better than the previous hundred years let me see thank you to all firefighter police officers responders whoa great job extinguishing this inferno i mean is anyone surprised anymore no we're not we're not too peter this dude those people like to coding things i'm looking for a comment that blaming a certain group ah here we go is it liberal utopia swear that means it's fire it's politics okay they don't want to say who put this right whether it's arson or anything like that okay this dude i'm so sick and tired of smelling smoke in the air from the wildfire it's nauseating oh no baby you haven't seen anything yet oh welcome to the new world order you know it's a new world order even job already told you the world was given on to, to the wicked which was the already the new world order let's see if we can pull it pull that out but first let's finish uh this the whole swig thing okay they are taking a swig out of the lord's cup and i already show you what's in that cup man the confusion that's why those people are so confused in the comments confusion the philo their philosophy their religion you know all the bad stuff they've been um feeding to us uh, they they've been making us drink okay that's what's in the cup uh this is me me metaphorically speaking let me show you what's in the cup and mark you get to dive right in all right, let's go. Alright, uh, this is going to show you what's in that cup. And there goes the cup. Oh, my God. oh that's pretty. Filling up that cup. Oh, yeah. It's definitely urine. Urine. All the filth of a fornication. That's what. Th this is your mouth. This is the cup right here. And it's filling your mouth. You're going to drink all of it. Whether you want it or not. This is what's in your cup that's what you're taking a full swig of that cup you don't know what's going on okay you don't know what's going on you're confused because we drink that cup of, of confusion okay the priest of mahan force that cup and now I'm all right all right so let's look at the comments because those people are confused family chosen and grafted do not get into conversation or argument with those people okay do not okay these people are not going to stop setting fires there has been a climate problem the un agenda 2030 year right justification for world power you got to be kidding me you mean to tell me for the past four five hundred years nobody was in power nobody uh, now we're going to have the new world order they're going to take power they're going to control the world 
Bill Gates, the Wolf Child, uh, 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 Kanye West, and, and, and Jay Z, all those guys that have money, the Illuminati, they're going to take control. You mean to tell me they weren't in control? So Bill Gates weren't in control? The Bilderberg, the Wolf Child, those guys that, that have all the money, the Rockefellers, they weren't in control? Now they're going to take control now they're going to make everybody wear chips so they can have more money now the whole world going to be under one government you got to be kidding me okay so now before they stop everything those people are saying this when they say the elite is doing that when you try to um when you try to see who who are the elites ah the elites okay oh those are the elites oh, oh, George Bush Obama oh, no what is this dude Abraham I uh, can't read Dick Cheney and oh, this is all the elite those are the Vlad the Emperor those are the people setting the fire with the like laser weapon and, and stuff oh oh Trump when you look at those people when you say the elite okay okay look at this we own and run the Fed we are your enemy when you say the elite look at the faces people that mean when those people said the elite, that means we are doing this. We white folks are doing this. We Edomites are doing this. We are controlling the world. We are about to taking over the world. Really? So now, the white man finally going to take over the world and rule it. Finally, the elite going to have a chance to make this world under a new world order. That's what's going to happen. It, 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 it didn't happen in 1492 when you scumbag came into our land and stole and swagger jack and burned down and rip rob murder everything that you find but now we are about to take over oh my god we got so much gold when hish will hit the fan after that we're gonna come back when then we're going to be we, we're going to be ruling with gold again and then in job 924 job tell you straight up the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who it is? If it wasn't you guys that have been ruling, if it wasn't those people that have been ruling for the past couple of hundred years, who, who, who was them? Who, who, you guys silenced the Spanish Inquisition. Okay? The Spanish. inquisition okay this is the priest of Mahan okay you guys came in with the Spanish uh, inquisition you kill murdered rape torture this is Jacob's trouble people they were torturing the saint and asked them to to uh, 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 um accept Christianity this is uh this is us they were torturing them and say do you accept uh, 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 Lord Jesus Christ? They were giving them the mark of the beast and they didn't want to take the mark. Now they want to make it look like all oh, comedy and fun. Look at us laughing and things like that. This was serious, man. This was Jacob's trouble, okay? They are baking this dude, all right, on a fire and they are stretching him on the wheel. And this is the priest of Mahan over there doing all that. And they were telling like, accept Jesus. Accept Caesar about and say, no, we only accept Yahweh and they will die. Okay, they will die. This is Jacob's trouble. Okay, they were burned and then and, 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 and kill. Okay, now we're going to have this again. Now we're going to go to another Jacob's trouble. Oh my God, Jacob's. No, nah, man, this is Esau's trouble. This is the Gentiles' tribulation. What you are looking at, this this is a, this is a, a, um, Jacob's trouble. When do, those are the priests of Mahan came in, when they were having a, 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 their Psalm 83, when they come together. Okay. This is priest of Mahan. 
they were burning people they were burning the israelites because they didn't want to take the mark of the beast okay let's pull that out let's pull that out all right quick give me a second okay revelation 13 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that is the image of the beast should both speak and cause that many of them would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right <clears throat> those people did not want to worship the image of the beast and don't let the, the image fool you like they are white people uh, they were like family they were like the Israelites when the priests of Mahan, all of them came here, they would want them to worship the image of Caesar Boja, fake white Jesus. They didn't want to, so they burned them alive. All right, okay, they will torture them. They will put them in because right here, when you when when you read verse fifteen, sixteen, uh, sixteen. And he caused them all, and he caused them all, both small and great, all the people that were living on the land and chosen in, whether they were rich, Montezuma, and Paul, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That doesn't mean they have like some type of tattoo in their hand or some type of 666 number. This is metaphorically speaking, to receive a mark an oath an agreement okay a, a way of worship or you, you know are, are you going to receive the mark or you the mark was the philosophy the religion the way of life the forehead is like your mind are you going to be like us are you going to act like us with your right hand are you going to do everything like us if you didn't want to be a christian if you didn't want to submit to the mark of the beast you could not buy anything you could not sell anything okay our people could not buy buy anything they could not sell anything let's let's look at now they, they make it into a joke you know oh oh nobody expect the spanish inquisition and they're laughing and stuff it was fun back then no nah, man it was atrocious uh torture torture methods all right okay they will put uh, a, a man um a man that's like a kind of like a bed or some type of thing and they were stretching until they split him the people didn't want to take them back so you see pony punish the non-believer the, the non-believers they were asking do you want do you believe the lord jesus christ cesare borgia going to save you do you believe that he is the Lord of the Lord? And they will say, no, Yahweh, Hayahi Allah. God is the only God. Yahweh is the only power. And they will kill them. They will split them in half. Okay, they will like rip their ribs out. The women, they will rip them. And then pour hot oil in their mouth. Hot water in their mouth. Okay, let's read this a little. Oh, I think that's for sale. 10 horrifyingly cruel method torture methods used during the spanish Inquis inquisition the judas cradle would literally rape you a new bottle okay they will make you sit on this they will tie this on your waist they will make the people sit on it and then split them in half uh, they used to call this the donkey chair but look at these people man i don't want this see this thing right here uh, the Judas cradle was a profoundly gruesome device. A naked victim was forced to sit on top of the sharp pointed pyramid. Huh, pyramid. See it. The pointy hand penetrated the anus of vagina. Mostly women, they will do that to or scrotum of the victim, or oh, it gets worse. The, inquis the inquisitor would then pull the rope attached to the victim's limbs to slowly force the point deeper into the person's orifice. All right, this is what they were doing to our people. Unspeakable time. I don't know this website, uh, Ranker or whatever, so you can check it out.
and then they will split this person open and they still not rejecting the name of Yahweh. those are where the people that were um screaming to enoch and then uh, they were um let's see uh if we can pre to revelation 13 10 he that leadeth um into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword he is the patient of the faith of the saint so those were the saint that they were doing this and they were crying unto the lord say lord i have not rejected you they want me to worship another god i don't want to do this okay so they those people were patiently waiting on the altar of god all right second they honeyed the process of water burning down to a science they will tie uh, our women and then they will drown them with water they did not want to accept the uh the the mark of the beast the spanish donkey okay they will make this and they will put like spikes on that and make you sit on it and tie it up um weight around your ankle which pull will split you open okay they will leave you hanging with the strap arrow okay they will hang you from one one plate one hand the strap arrow was a very popular torture method during the inquisition primarily because it was so easy to do it involved trying a person's hands tying his his or her back and suspending the person full weight by the wrist using a pulley system Oftentimes, weight were added to the victim's feet to increase the level of pain to guarantee dislocation of the extremity. All right, this is what they were doing to our people. All right, so those are the inquisitors. That was Jacob's trouble, people. The water cure would make you violently ill. Okay, they will just tie you up to a, a, a bed, and then this dude is taking note. Are you accepting the mark of the beast? Do you want Christianity or what? Do you want to... Uh, 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 if you worship, we'll let you eat. We'll let you buy. If you don't, we're going to drown you on this table. They will fill their belly until they explode, until they die. You'll need more than a few advice after a head crush. They will put this device in your head and crush your head with it. Torture them. We torture and bind off them and put a yoke around their neck. Let me see if we can get uh, uh, to Nephi 2 Nephi or first Nephi 13 uh let's see first nephi um first oh, first nephi verse 13 i believe okay and it came to pass and then just speak to me saying look and look behold many nation all right uh i think it's okay i think it's first nephi verse five um and the angel said unto me, Behold, the fornication of the church, the, the priest of my hand, which is most abominable above all, all the churches, which slayeth, kill, slayeth the saints of God, yea, and tortureth people. This is tortureth. They were tortureth the saint. Look at this device, man hanging torture this is torture okay which torture of them and bind them them down people this is prophecy and bind them them down right there okay and yoke of them with the yoke of iron and bring of them into captivity and it came to pass that i beheld this great and abominable church and i saw the devil that he was the founder of it cain okay cain the devil um let me show you an image of that i like that i love to use cain this is cain right here okay he lost his melanin and this is uh cain and his son cain and lamech master mahan Mahan, Master Mahan, Master Mahan, Master Mahan, both uh, Masters Mahan, they hide things. They are the founder of the Catholic Church and all the other churches, all the religions, Father and Son. 
Mahan and Master Mahan. Master Mahan and Master Mahan. Both were masters of hiding things. Secret society. The Freemason. Our beloved brother Big Judah made a lesson about the oath. Those are the ones that came in with the oath. Again, like I said, those two guys are not technically the real image of Cain and Lamech. But that's how they did look back then. White. Pale. And if you read the book of Lamech of Cain, that's what it is. They explain that to you. All right. Okay. Um, and I saw the devil, the devil, Cain, that was the founder of it. And I saw gold, silver, and silk, and scarlet, and fine twine linen, and all manner of precious clothing. And I saw many harlots. The many harlots are all the Protestant, Baptists, and all that nonsense. All right, let's go back to um, the torture methods, okay? The name of this torture uh, device says it all. The victim head was placed in a vice. The top cap portion went over the victim's skull, while the victim's chin was positioned on top of a metal ball. The beginning, the tortured inquisitor will tighten the skull on the top of the device, slowly crushing the victim's skull as the skull was compressed. The victim's teeth were shattered. In extreme cases, the eyeballs will pop out of the skull, causing certain death. You mean to tell me, after these people, those two devils, Cain and Abel, of Cain and, and Lamech, his son, and the priest of Mahan, they did all of this to us. And then now, again, at the present time, they are going to bring Jacob's trouble. They are going to be a new world order. And the new world order will be the elites. They're going to go to the camps. They're going especially a specific camp that say he is the, they are the only one who have the truth. They're going to go to that specific camp and take that man and then make them go through that thing again. And after that, those guys, those Christians tell you, right after they've, they've been doing this to people, and those same Christians will tell you, they're going to be raptured, and they're going to go to heaven. Hmm. Revelation 13, 10. That's what's going to happen to you. All right? The knee sp splitter crippled you. Okay, they will put your knees in this. I'm not going to even read this. Okay, the Spanish tickler doesn't tickle at all it rips your flesh so this is kind of like something they will put on your body like some type of um water and then they will wore your flesh out of your body and kill you okay burning at the stake was very popular so when our people didn't want to take the mark of the beast they would put them in the stake and burn them alive the rock will break your back they will put you on this uh, back and this rack and stretch you and break your back oh <sighs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Crazy. When you hear those things, the most horrific type of medieval tortures, those were our people. Those were our people. So that's it brothers and sisters so you know when people are asking why those things are happening 10 plagues of apocalypse of abraham you know the fire the destruction by pestilence among the cattle you're going to see all the animals going to drop dead they're going to be hungry starving famine of the world destruction by earthquake and the swords increase of hell and snow Wild beasts will be their graves. Pestilences and hunger will change the destructions. Execution by the sword and flight and distress. Thunder voices and destroying earthquake. Alright. So. I hope that thing was recording. Yes it was. Alright. We'll do a little research. Find out what's going on. You know. Uh, the priest of Mahan. Cain and Abel. Cain and Lamech. You know, Cain was Lamech's father. Okay, Lamech had a daughter 
call him. He has a daughter called Nahama, which become Noah's wife, which become the mother of um, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, our four mothers. Okay, and uh, the reason, man, I don't want to spoil everything, but those guys, Cain got killed by Lamech. Lamech actually killed his own father accidentally because the Lord, when the Lord curses, curses cursed Cain he told Cain he, he put the mark upon Cain which is he took his melanin out and Cain become white in the book of Lamech of Cain Lamech explained that people said oh the mark was like an M in his forehead no he took his melanin away he made him white in the middle of the um the half inhabitant and any man that found Cain shall should kill him and Cain was like lord that what you put upon me is too great for me my, that punishment is too great for me to bear and he said well wherever i go they're gonna kill me if they see me and the lord said whoever killed you i will fall vengeance upon that person sevenfold so the lord put two curse on on, on cain he put the curse of uh, um the shame and on cain so cain ran away he become a fug fugitive and a vagabond they never saw him People really never saw Cain. So when he got his son Lamech, Lamech was one day um, um, hunting with his son Tubal, Tubal Cain. So Tubal, little Tubal. So Lamech was old. He could not see. So little Tubal was too young. And then he saw somebody approaching, which was Cain. Remember, Cain always in the hiding. Because if somebody saw Cain, they would kill him. So the little the little boy told his father Lamech, he said there is an animal approaching. So Lamech drew his bow and then launched an arrow, and then the arrow penetrated Cain hard and killed him instantly. When they approached, Lamech was old, and the little boy when they approached, they saw they killed their own father, and he was angry and he struck little Tubal and killed little Tubal. So he killed his father. While he killed his father, the judgment of God, the, the, the judgment was going to come upon whoever killed Cain sevenfold. So the judgment come on him sevenfold mean perfect judgment. He killed his father and his son and cut off the bloodline. And he was too old. He was very, very old. He couldn't do anything, so to speak. So he killed his father and his son, Tubal Cain. Jabal and Jubal were already dead. Okay. I think then Jabal got killed by a Leviathan. All oh, the stories, man. Read people. Pray, pray, pray. All right. So this is just an image that I used to just show you how you, I don't know, Cain and Lamech and all that. So uh, let me save this. Hmm. I don't think you can. All right. all right then all praise to the most high yahweh the heavenly father in the name of the holy spirit the earthly mother sanctifying yahweh the holy son shalom